Hello, today we're going to be making a Hello World application on Dash Code. Um, uh, we're, right now we're creating applications for the dashboard, which is all the way to the far left when you go through the scenes of your Mac computer. Um, here's my dashboard. I have calendar, this, that, and this, and that. And um, in order to get Dash Code, you need to download Xcode, which will be in the App Store. Right now I have it installed, but I need to show you where to get it. So first you go to Apps for Designers. I know it'll be available right here but sometimes it might not so I just want to show you a definite location where it will always be and that's right over here in web and app development Xcode right there it's the main programming thing Okay. and once you've got that and get it all installed and everything it'll come in a folder like this called developer the one that my mouse is circling around right now when you click on it it'll come with these dash code and um and instruments and quartz composer quartz co say that five times fast quartz composer blah, 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 blah. anyways um here's some choices you can take like the safari option or the dashboard option right now we're going to take the dashboard option because we're not making a safari you know I've, i still have to go through that but right now i I'm, i've mastered the dashboard so we'll choose that and right now we're just making a simple hello world application. I'm just going to take that out. That was from my previous projects. Um, so you can resize it using this little tiny um, three line triangle thing on the side. You can make it like this. You can make it like this. Okay, so I don't know. How do we want to make ours? I'm going to make ours like... Uh, I'm just make, going to make it like an ordinary... Eh, let's make it look like an iPhone screen. Like that. Okay, um, and remember you can move these. These are just little things you can move. Like the X, you can move it around wherever you want. The information bar right here, the information button, you can move it around everywhere. You can even move it right in the center. And you can move it around and once they, um, both the lines, the vertical one and the horizontal one, are centered, that's when you know that the object is centered. Um, but for now, I'm just going to keep it over here like all applications, well, most of them at least. Um, you can explore all this stuff. See, there's like a front, there's a back. The back was centered, but we moved it all around like this. So I'm just gonna keep it like that. Um, you can keep that, but I usually delete mine. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it there. And that's the done button. So when you want to finish using um, the back you can just hit the done button so I'm just gonna go back to the front and there we go um, I'm gonna move this up a little bit back to normal so I'd say you open up your library first because this is all the parts you can move the info button see look there's another info button they're twins but this info button right here if you just drag and drop it it will not have any coding so you're going to need to put coding into that one, but I'm not going to teach you that right now. But this one, on the other hand, as soon as you open up the custom application, the coding's built right in. So you can just drag and drop it wherever you want, and you're done. So then, so you can even have horizontal sliders and all sorts of fun stuff. And they even added a gauge. What a wonderful gauge. And then... You can put videos and okay, so now let's stick to the topic. Um first we're gonna put in our text. You just drag text, which will be after you click library, and then you do it a parts and then parts library, and you just keep scrolling down until you get to the very bottom, it'll say text. It'll be, like there'll be two texts, so then you just drag. And drop it wherever you want. Do you wanna? If you wanna center it, I'll just. I'm just gonna center it. So then, you click it twice. It'll be like this. So you just click it twice, and then type in, "Hello, world." And
and okay and then as soon as you click it'll automatically adjust it so then all everything's showing in one line um and then suppose you want to change it I'm just gonna add some exclamation points to this oh no look what it did it did this uh what are you gonna do you just click on it then resize it and then maybe you can center it and there you go so then we're gonna we're gonna run this application right now and just by hitting the play button up here I just played it so then you can go hit info and then it has this you can hit the done button and then it'll be like that so then that was really boring uh, I didn't really um like the result of that so we're gonna make it a little more exciting by adding some images see um we can also have the attributes uh See, if you go to the attributes, it'll also say, hello world. That's something you can just put in there. And this is the default image, or as soon as you open it up, what's the picture that's going to appear? Like, see, as soon as you open up the calculator, this calculator image appears. But on ours, we're going to get something else. And then here's the, the icon. And then this is where you can choose to run it and share it and all, that other and all that other good stuff. So then we can go to front, and we're going to add an image. Not one of these, but one of these. Um, how about we do? <laughs> I have an awesome face. We're gonna do uh, this one because we're doing hello, or hello world. We're gonna make an Earth image. So expand that. Oh, I guess it's reached its biggest. So we'll just leave it like that, okay? And oh no, our text, it, it disappeared. What are we gonna do? Not to worry. We can just do this. Um, send to back. Oh, I didn't mean like that. Um, how about send to back? Yeah, there we go. Um, we're gonna put it to a place where we can see it. If that doesn't really work out, uh, in your picture, just, you can't see your words. Uh, you can change the color, but I'm not gonna get that detail, because that's a little, con a little confusing process. We're just gonna do, um, uh, um, a uh, rounded rectangle and drag it out here. You can make it, make it bigger. You can send backward. Put the words on it. Uh, ta -da. now you can see the words. You can move that down here. If you want to, of course. Once that reaches there, um, I think we've done it. So then it says hello world. There's an awesome image of an earth. Oh yeah, by the way, I got this off of Google. So I have, um, this is like just a disclaimer. This isn't my picture. So just got it off of Google. Um, also you can go to the back and delete. Um, how about we just move this down here? We can shrink it because we don't want this taking up all our creativity space. Yeah, that's what I'll call it, creativity space. Um, you make our done button. I'm just going to put the done button right uh, here, just because I want to. And go to the pictures. What do you want to add now? Let's add... Hmm. Let's add this snowflake. A random snowflake. Okay, we're going to make it smaller. I go, by the way, I got this this off of Google Images as well. Just a snowflake, and maybe you know, put some text. See, there, we can just put another text. Get another. This time, let's get an ellipse. Make that bigger. Move it to the center. Send it back. And then we can get the text, and move the text, um, so that it centers up with this and then you can expand it and then you just call it snow flake oops there we go <laughs> the dot 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 um i think we need to make this bigger i mean the text bigger snowflake um yeah so then once that that happens we can just Go back to the front. I think our uh, our back is okay, and our front seems to be okay. 
status and we can go to the widget icon and we can choose a image for our icon I just I just downloaded that that's actually a program that somebody created so I'm gonna go and choose uh, how about this which happens to be off of Google images as well the cool thing about the icon selection is you can move it out as big as you want but still it'll make it so that it gets rounded on the edges and all perfect and then you can choose see the default image it automatically sets as that because that's what the default image is so now we have our icon our back which happens to have no affliction to the front and the front which ha um yeah you know I'm just gonna for fun just add a slider for no reason at all, just a slider. And another slider for no reason at all. And it'll still work. It'll actually work. Just it won't have any use. You can just slide it randomly. Yes, you can slide it randomly. Okay, and then so it'll show everything that we've just opened up on here. And now I'm just going to go to the run button to see how it's working. And look you can slide it, slide this, hello world, you can hit the info button, snowflake, double with dash code, you can hit the done button, and then that's it. Um, so I'm going to also, here's how you to deploy it to the dashboard. See, all this stuff is after you get a hang of this hello world thing. I'm going to hit run and share. I'm going to call it hello world worlds okay um world um and I'm gonna add some exclamation points to it just for fun and then I'm going to save to disk save it so my download then if I go double click hello world um and just do replace uh, you don't need to replace it um I just had a another application that was called hello world it's um, all set up and ready to go um, see the sliders are all working even though they have no use at all and the info buttons working too so then see it says develop by dash code snowflake and done so then you can also go and scroll down to the dashboard see if you go here you can just check it out here so then there'll be all your dash code stuff or dashboard sorry and what do you know here's our application right here so you can even open up a second one or a third one or a fourth one but and you can also exit out see there's even the exit button that we made in that so then our applications ready to go um, uh, if you have any questions just post it in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe uh, and uh... thanks for watching um, and hope you have fun programming so i'm gonna leave now bye